Hi, this is Amin, and in this video, I would like to talk about something related to my previous videos. So, I recently shared some videos on my YouTube channel related to my mob, but the thing is that before uh, IEEE 802.11 AC standard, uh, the users, the APs, which were capable of having MIMO, uh, they could just communicate at, I mean, at the time, at the same time with one client. So the MIMO uh, APs weren't able to communicate with different users simultaneously prior to MU MIMO, multi-user MIMO. So what's that? I'll tell you in this video. As I said in the demo, so prior to 802.11 AC, which is for 2013, uh, APs were able to communicate with only one uh, client station at the same time or simultaneously. Now with this one, up to four device, but the thing is that in the downstream, so for the down link, not for the uplink. And it is what we call it multi-user MIMO. Uh, the question is, so uh, what is the goal of this thing? I mean, the goal is to improve efficiency. So let's say to improve efficiency by using less airtime so in multi-user MIMO we do want to improve the efficiency by using less airtime but again the question is how so to answer this one I would say uh, to use as many I would say as many as as many as spatial streams uh, which are possible so I mean uh, whether the transmission is uh, from uh, this is my AP whether the transmission is from uh, the AP to one client with four spatial stream or to four different clients with one spatial stream I mean it doesn't matter that what we are going to do from the one ap four diff stream one stream two stream three stream four or stream one stream two stream three stream four so here we do want to improve the efficiency then uh, using less air time and use as many as uh special streams and again to us it doesn't matter that we have one user like this so we can float uh, four special streams to that one or we have four users I mean like clients that each one is uh, able to have one it doesn't matter so let's say in multi-user MIMO we do want to have an efficient system but the thing is that just we can use that system in downlink so the downstream is the one uh, that the AP try to communicate to uh, multiple clients at the same transmission opportunity this is the like concept or main idea related to MU MIMO let me draw something maybe it shut the light on so this is my ap uh let's say i have a station here i have one station like this here let's say station one a laptop station two then a cell phone like that and a station three is a tablet or whatever so i do have like stream one stream two so two streams towards station one stream number three to the station two and stream number four to station number three and it is 
802.11 AC uh, supported access point. So in this uh, picture, we can understand the situation better. As at the beginning of uh, that thing I said, prior to that standard, to this one, our uh, APs were able in at the same uh, transmit opportunity to communicate with one. But in multi-user MIMO, it is possible to have different communications. But uh, sometimes we see when we see an AP like this, the naming convention or the way that they describe the, uh, the t TX and RX are different. We see something like that. For, for, uh, sorry, let me delete this one. Okay. Four, 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 three, three, something like that. So they describe it with five numbers. What are these? Uh, the first one, always, TX, second one, Rx. And in the previous video, I told you this one is for a special uh, streams. But as long as we are talking about multi-user MIMO, I can say this one is for the time that we use, is, uh, we use it as a single user. So this is SU MIMO. And this one is multiple user streams. What does this mean? It means uh, how many um, MU streams can be transmitted. And this one is MU groups or MU group. Uh, how many MU MIMO clients can receive a uh, transmission at the same time? Uh, let me explain it more to you. When we have something like that, four, 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 oops, sorry again. Four, three, three. It means if I use it as a uh, single user, I have four. If I use it as uh, MU MIMO, I can have three different streams. To how many users? To three different users. So if we have something like that, four, 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 three, two. In this case, and I would like to have, uh, I would like to use it as multi-user, it will be uh, three different spatial streams, but to two users. So maybe user one can have like this and user two like this. So this AP, this one is capable of having three different special streams, but only to two users. And it is another naming convention that they use to explain that kind of uh, MIMO. So question, what if we have uh, something around 20 um, MU MIMO client stations in one BSS? To answer this question, it is the AP that uh, makes a decision. So I would say AP would make the decision about which client uh, receives the downlink. How, uh, let's say something like that. For example, we have a big BSS like that. We have AP here. And with many users like station one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine so we have this this is my ap and these are the stations but ap would make that decision let's say just uh three of them are able to receive that i mean this one is like three 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 everything is three let's say like that so in this type three clients could receive a special stream simultaneously let's say one two three like that and then uh, like transmission opportunity one 
in transmission opportunity number two, maybe uh, these three. So T X O P number two. Spatial streams are three, and AP would make the decision that which one can receive of the spatial stream. We've got familiar with the concept of MU MIMO so far. So now it is the time for the last uh, things to be noticed. The last points of this video, actually last but not least, but in this video, things that uh, it, it is good to be mentioned and to be remembered. So right now, there are not tons of users that are capable. Uh, let's say capable of 802.11 AC or multi-user MIMO few users this is the first thing and the technology is rarely used in enterprises the client must support that beam forming related to that and it should be noted that uh, in 802.11 AX uh, the, the thing is that we have an uplink, I mean, like, and downlink. The good thing is that in this one, we have a uh, MU MIMO in both. So this is the first thing. The second one is that MU MIMO, this one, so it requires, it requires what? spatial diversity so the physical distance between the client and user so physical distance between ap and user this thing is important this thing is important so let's say in a big enterprise big enterprise in a big enterprise, so what do we have? Crowded area. So in a big enterprise, uh, uh, like the most modern day enterprise de deployments of Wi-Fi, we have what? We have a high density environment. I would say uh, it's not conductive to have something like MU MIMO because we do need for that spatial uh, diversity and those streaming, as I said, it is good to know the location of the users. So uh, sometimes it's not doable to have it. And last thing, so in MU MIMO, we do need TXBF. I have a video related to that, so you can watch it. Uh, we do need this, which requires what? Sounding frame. Sounding frames. And I explained that on that video as well. So it has what? I would say additional overhead. So we do need to add something more to our data. So we do have additional overhead. And especially when uh, most of the data frames are small. This overhead of uh, sounding frames usually negate any performance uh, related to 802.11 AC because uh, you know it transmits downstream simultaneously to multiple clients. And that's it guys. I've covered all that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you uh, for watching my video and uh, if you like it just show me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye everyone. Bye.